how can they help us? In two ways, really. The first one, when I first did ayahuasca, this beautiful music was playing, and there were tears of joy and pleasure um, coursing down my face. And I felt this tremendous love, and it wasn't love. There was love for particular people, but it was much greater than that. And what I really got was that this love is actually my essence. Which is not to say, and the, the essence that I've been disconnected from all my life, these skins that I've developed over my heart to protect myself from the pain, because when your heart is open and the love is flowing, you really can get hurt. And last year in December in Yalapa, where I lead the retreats with ayahuasca, I had the experience of my heart opening up and trust connecting me with the universe. And, 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 I, and I got that really that's our essence, that, 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 that opening, that open heartedness, that love is our essence. And if that's our essence, why don't we realize it? It's because it hurts so much when it's not reciprocated. It hurts so much when it's not understood. It hurts so much when it's wounded. And so we develop these skins, we shut down. And specifically about addictions, addictions like many other behaviors are all about escaping from the pain. But if we realize that that love is really our very essence, there's nothing to run away from. What's there to run if you really get it? And the other thing that the spirit, the plant spirits can do is they can connect us to the experiences in a very deep way that made us run in the first place. And so sometimes people talk about bad experiences with ayahuasca or, or acid or, or, or anything. From my point of view, when somebody talks about a bad experience, two things are going on. One is their personality, their mind is judging the experience because the personality was developed in the first place to run away from the pain. And all these things that we think we are, they're just our personality, which was de developed in the first place as a compensation not to feel pain. But secondly, it also means that when they had that experience, they didn't have the right guidance. But whatever you do, and I know some of you have journeyed by yourselves, I don't recommend it. If you choose that, you choose that. But really, I think we're such complicated, complex beings in the Western world. And there's so much cultural and psychological barrier between who we think we are and who we actually are, that it's really safer to engage in these journeys with people that are experienced and somewhat wise. So when somebody talks about a bad experience, I say, no, no, you didn't have a bad experience. What you had is an experience where you experienced pain. What you had was an experience when you, where you, where you were in touch with a lot of fear, maybe even terror. But that pain and that terror, you've been carrying inside yourself all your life and you've been running away from it all your life. It's not a bad thing to experience them. It's only bad if you have no means to digest the experience, to understand it, to put it into context, and to move on for it. So when I work with people with ayahuasca, or when I go into an experience myself with some other guide, I don't care whether pain is gonna come up, fear is gonna come up, terror is going to come up. In fact, if it comes up, so be it. Because it's only coming up because it's already there. This is a memory. This is not who you are. 